Hey there, everyone. Jacqueline Jacks from AVA Live Radio. So much going on this Friday. Lots of new music. I just released the new music release radar. It's an exclusive music Spotify podcast episode that is on the spring new releases. And I'm about to do the summer ones, but it, I don't even know where to categorize this song. Should it be under summer? Should it be under spring? Because I think it's going to like last all the way through summer. Apparently, this single by NBA Youngboy, proud of myself is currently at number 14 on the music trending charts on youtube and i am gonna review it for you guys so nba young boy is uh not um he is not the faint of heart he definitely has lyrics just like rapid fire lyrics but he does it in a very very unique way and the other videos i have reviewed of his I've been really impressed with and very excited to review and you guys have been just serving up the comments and serving up the amazing views and playbacks and shares and I really appreciate it for you guys that's why I'm doing this one because you have recommended him over and over to me since I did my last young boy song and I hear you I definitely hear you I will not disappoint so let me know which one I should do next after this and we will just go down this road together so proud of myself as far as I know and you guys always tell me the good skinny but NBA young boy he's continuously just releasing and that is something that is crazy good perhaps it's because he's under house arrest I don't know that I would say is like a great way to get a music career together because there's like no distraction <laughs> consistently releasing this music despite his house arrest situation is actually working out for him because everybody is talking about him now the early um ones he did this month and i just reviewed this was with quavo a collaboration uh don't rate me it was and he dropped see me now um, now he's presumably closing out the month with this new one, Proud of Myself. And that would be, yeah, that would be the end, right? Because this is the 27th. But now we're going into like summer releases or pre-summer releases because they're going to like last that long. And I'm just curious what album I should review for summer because I have to come up with seven album picks in this next month. And I'm just kind of curious if you think that this album should be considered the last Slimento uh, with those 30 tracks should maybe be in my summer releases. I don't know. Cause it didn't, I didn't put it in my spring releases. And I think because I just haven't really reviewed all the songs, but just like this rapper, he comes with just so much music, so much like just consistently and so much energy. When I watch him sing and perform, I really, one thing I really notice is it's just the energy. He's really got I don't know if it's confidence or if it's just a next level in his vocal that he's recently achieved this year that I didn't see or hear in the previous releases. And that I think is what I'm so attracted to at this point in August. Um, he's definitely, you know, just been, just been serving it up. I think the last Lamento is it dropping in August? It might be dropping in August and that would be 30 tracks that maybe I didn't hear yet. Or some of these are part of it. I will have to look that up. But you know what? You guys can just tell me. So anyway, the 22-year-old Baton Rouge-based rapper has gone through his fair share, for sure, of hardships throughout his life and his musical career. Fortunately, though, the music has been a great outlet. And I think it's allowed him to take the negative energy and channel it into something. All these emotions, all these emotions he's going through, all these things he's been through, all of the heartbreak and everything else just seems to be pouring into his music. And perhaps that's what we're all so excited and attracted to. Because when a, a vocalist and an artist kind of gets really authentic, really digs deep and starts talking about everything from like, you know, controversy to what he's been through to what he's going through now. And it seems to be like in the moment and coming out quickly. I feel like we all start to really pay attention. And on top of it, he's got this really unique way, these rapid fire lyrics, but then a really unique way of getting it to pour out. So we're not only getting emotionally involved with him, but we're getting catchy. We're getting like a unique vocal that we really can't hear anything else or any in anyone else, right? Like, just like when you hear Lil Baby in a song, you kind of like, you know, it's him, right? When I hear Young Boy in a song now, I know it's him, but I didn't have that same feeling 
of his old work, I have it only of his new. And I think it's because those jumps in octaves, those like the, just the way he's uh, using his vowel sounds. And you're going to hear it in just a second because I'm going to play it. Anyway, I also want to recommend another song that I just put on my list. It's a hip hop album out by John Hands. Please go check it out. He's up and coming, a newcomer. And you know what? I think you guys are going to really go crazy over what he has to offer. The uh, new album just came out May 17th. It's Amongst My Demons with the lead single, Love Never Dies. It is a great single, especially for Father's Day coming up. He had such a good, good moment in all of these lyrics. Like he dug really, really deep. So if you like artists that dig deep, like Kendrick Lamar and, you know, and definitely NBA young boy, you got to go hear this amongst my demons and let me know what you think. I will link it in the description box below so you don't miss it. But I think you're going to be really surprised and you're going to be like, thanks for letting me know, because this is like really timeless music. And, you know, I'm always looking out for something new and exciting to review on this channel. So anyway, might see more of that coming up if he releases some music videos. But in any case, his name is John Hands. Go check him out. You're going to know him. You're going to know him. I'm telling you. All right, let's play this song. NBA young boy, proud of myself. I got lyrics up on the screen for you. Cool, cool, cool. Hey, Benz, what you cooking? He always does like easy videos. I guess because he's punching him out so fast, right? I can tell you that I'm proud of myself I grew up hard, but that's just the way it is, baby boy All the neighbors, they ain't want me with the kids Probably thought that I'd die, but now it's still where I live on oh. I done made cross the field, that's a touchdown Cotton in, cut key, got to work now Mama know that we up now Bring back, fill the cash, I don't let's go They don't like me, but I got it, a minute this how it is I was down, they had nobody, I did it, that's my beat I need forgiveness for things that I did Thank God that he blessed me with all of my friends Okay, first off, easy home video. I mean, really, like he doesn't really have to do much at this point because we all know he is he's on house arrest. We all know that like we're not really demanding that much in the actual video and almost the video vlogs he's had going on has really worked. I've actually enjoyed them because they're different, right? There's plenty of time for him to do like highly produced effect videos, you know, and do stuff, stuff that's like, you know, high technology. We're seeing a lot of that through all the videos on YouTube, especially, but like, you know, I think right now he's speaking his truth. It's rapid fire. He's coming out in such an authentic way that these videos, video vlogs really do work. And I feel like he's pulling us into his world this way a lot more than any other way that he could do it, right? So I kind of like the rawness of the videos that I'm seeing. I also love the vibe of this. It's really different from what he's just recently done. And I, I kind of love this flow for him. And it works really well with his sound, which is, it's, you know, that's, it's refreshing. It is refreshing. Smoke at two, but I'm smoking a shit with twins. I was stressing over you, why you wildin' out with your friends? With my brother in the coup, go to pop and we shootin' again, yeah. And I came out the set, boy. I finished school, but I said that I accept for it. I'm getting in and I ain't quit, cause I'm winning. No, I am rockin', I ain't stoppin' for the law tonight. Layin' around the crib, bad women. Rhythm that I'm feelin' next, so got me goin' off tonight. Shorty know she real bad with it. She gon' ride me and ride till I tell her for the stop at the light. Get off the ground, I'm makin' friends, and she fuck with that. She made a video, I would em, and I'm livin' it. Hey, at least he gets dressed every day. There's, this, there's a move right there. That little roll, the tongue roll, that's like something I've been hearing in his music that's like, like I said, it's specific. There's also an effect on the vocal that is really specific to him too and I'm not hearing it anyone else. And on top of it, he does like, he does these jumps, you know, in the um, 
in the pitch that are really unique. So the, those three combinations right there alone, as well as like the bars that he plays, like this one is a real vibe, right? But I still feel like it really sets in there so well and how an artist can um, turn his vocal into something that becomes not only part of the music, but something recognizable is a skill. It's a skill in itself. You don't see it that often, but you see it when an artist has just broken out and is really, really honing their crafts. And that's that's one thing that I'm really attracted and interested in in this artist for sure. Ain't no richer than every single my Pacific critics. Watch your tone when you miss me. I can feel it deep inside of my soul. And I know it's gonna get better as we go. Oh, that's you good. Know. I like that. Now that's one of the more that's one of the more melodic uh pieces that I've heard him sing lately. It's just kind of neat, you know what I mean? And it is very like laid back summer vibe. Um I like that. I like that. It's different. Nice. Ah, there's another signature move right there. Okay, did you hear that? Like where he just kind of like he got into like a belting rap, right? I don't, I don't even know if it would be like, it would be like a belting rap. Like if you were a vocalist, um, like a balladeer and you would like reach into that gut, that gut area, he tapped into that. Now that is the move that he didn't have years ago in his other stuff. I didn't hear it. I hear it a lot more in every single song here. And sometimes it even jumps an octave. And that is one of the like trademark moves that I don't see anybody else doing. That's one bad for the case. That's a shame. Got a hit for your song that they play what you say. I won't get paid. Ain't no law for the game. Good stuff. NBA young boy, proud of myself. The song comes out at three minutes, 15 seconds, which is a rather longer song uh, than I've seen a lot of the people releasing these days. I mean, with with the tension spans, the way that they have been, I mean, like really TikTok has kind of wrecked it for a lot of us, but I think it's coming back around. I'm seeing more and more that artists are getting out of the two minute, the one minute, <laughs> 50 second phase, and they're not so focused on Spotify anymore. I can honestly say a lot of people have been like so fed up with Spotify. I can't even say so Spotify, come on, get it together and don't be against the artists these days there's so so much that uh, they are going through and you need to help out all right guys i hope you like this review i hope i offered some food for thought some value maybe and uh yeah tell me what you think let me know how you feel about nba young boy's new song proud of myself i really like the video it's good stuff all right looking forward to the next one don't forget to go listen to john hands because i think you'll like that new album bye guys See you later.